Over the weekend, a 14-year-old boy was found dead in the Spokane River near Corbin Park. The Kootenai County Sheriff's Office received a call on night at 9.30 p.m. on Saturday about a possible drowning. After the boy hadn't been seen in more than an hour, Kootenai County divers found his body 20 feet from shore. Our Peter Choi had a chance to speak with people at Corbin Park today and hear what they have to say about safety concerns. From putting your feet in the lake to simply floating down the river, getting in the water is a great way to cool off on a hot summer weekend. Kristen Mark Love has visited the Spokane River at Corbin Park for five years now, says there were concerning moments. For example, yesterday we had a three or four year old throwing up in the water with no parent in sight and you have to try to find those families and say your child is in need of help. She takes extra caution with her children in the water. Our children are never not in our reach. Even our older children, my 10 year old is never allowed to be in that water without somebody in the water, a life jacket. Justin Spring is visiting here for the first time today. When he heard about the drowning incident, he says it brought up safety concerns adding that the situational awareness is significant. Understanding there's other people out there, they're having their own thing going on and it's all about helping each other out. We as a society come here and we know those things and we get comfortable and we forget about the danger that's underneath there. We forget that nature's way is nature's way. Now this is ongoing investigation. Kootenai County detectives are investigating what exactly happened last night. The child's name has not been released. Impulse Falls, Peter Choi, 4 News Now. Awesome.